Welcome back. Another episode. It's going to seem like episode overloads after the last few months. So, got most of the front end back on. The little lights that I made and the grill and the horse at the front. Uh, just gluing that one, which is why it's got tape on it. I haven't really had time to make another set of these. I've never really been happy with them because they've got little bubbles in where I tried to vacuum form them. I think I got the plastic a bit hot. So I will redo those, but these are sort of temporary for now. Uh, this trim around here is just this um, stick on, uh, I think I just call it chrome strip. You can buy it on eBay. Little tip, it's got a clear um, covering on it. Remove that, but also heat it up with a hot air paint stripper just to make it a bit more pliable. If you if you don't heat it up, you tend to get creases on the chrome side of it. So that's a little tip. Um, so yeah, this one's about done. Got to do some work on the Porsche. Um, I'll go through that in a minute. I've changed these trims here for the aluminium, which is just this half round. They call it half round. It's it's actually a bit less than that. Uh, it's slightly concave underneath. Should be able to buy this from Metal Stockist. This is half inch wide by uh, three sixteenths, I think. No, mm, yeah, maybe three sixteenths. And it's got quite a nice smooth finish, so it's easy to polish to make it look like chrome. I was going to do the door surrounds with this five mil uh, TIG wire or TIG rod, but I've sort of run out of time for that, so it'll have to be another day. What I was going to do with this is bend it around the um, apertures and then sand the back with a, a grinder with quite a heavy grit disc on it just to make this half round in section because it's just round at the moment and then polish it. Uh, yeah, that is about it for the um, for the Ferrari. That's, I think it's good to go. Maybe put a bit of tire shine on it. Um, so on to the Porsche. I've done a little bit of filler work around here. It's just dark model filler that I've used. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I've got to repaint that bit of the front bumper. The stripes had, um, they've kind of bled in time on just the front wings. Don't know why that was. So I've just put the base dark blue on to mask those up and pinstripe them to go along the front. And also I'm gonna repaint the Dunlop on the tires. Some of them have faded. So you can only just see it. Don't know. It's sort of faded right on the very edge. Maybe that's where the tire moves. Um, so yeah, might redo those. And got a bit of bumper repair going on. This is where Maddie went into the back. So I've got to sand that down and repaint that part of the bumper. This is just holding it in place while it glues. Um, I've also pulled bits of the seat out. Got to make a seat to go in there, but because this board flips forward so you can get to the battery and everything, um, need to make something up it's got bolsters that will kind of collapse so first thing I think is paint those stripes in so I'm just dabbing on some paint this is uh, two pack paint with hardener in between the stripes Uh, and then it's a case of pulling it off and you're left with stripes like that. Just need to do the red down the centre, but I'll leave that to dry. OK, 
carry on finishing from this side. Just finishing off the last bit. Then it's time to take the tape off and make sure that you've masked it up properly. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit of a surprise. So I've got all the bits covered. Okay, let's pull tape. out if it's all a success or if it needs to be redone again. Right, looks pretty good. a little bit of bleeding at the front there I can trim that out and then wait for it to dry uh, I'll get rid of these little bits where it's gone over at the edges and put the red stripe down the side not the side the middle it's gonna pull the uh, front wheels off the porch and we're going to repaint the Dunlop lettering um, I suppose this is just a bit of a detail thing, completely changes the look of the tyre if this is bright. So let's get them outside and clean them up. So this is the first wheel, so I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a, an outline of Dunlop. It's not that square, so I've had to go round it with some tape to give a, a radius of the tyre. So they're like separate letters and I've stuck them together to try and get the right sort of spacing. And then I've just used some acrylic paint, a couple of coats, it doesn't have to go on really thick. And then I'll pull the let lettering uh, off now and see how it's come out. And that is it with the masking removed. A little bit untidy around some of the edges. Whoops, there's my finger around there, but yeah, it's okay. It's just a tire. Adds to the detail. Let's put those back on. So that's what's left of the stencil. Uh, like I say, this was just a bit of laser cut sticky back plastic. I had the Dunlop logo and then I realigned each letter. Um, I suppose if you were going to do lots of them, you could just get it all done as a single correct radius sticker and then stick them on. Just get loads of them printed off would be much easier than doing it that way. Uh, so there's the tyres. All done. So I've painted the front bumper and the rear bumper where there was damage. Just got to do that stripe and make a seat up for there because that one's a bit of a mess or what's left of it. So what I've done is just added a, a folded base. I don't know if you can see the different angles there and just two upright back stays which I'm going to screw to this board and that will form the sides of the seat, the sort of bolsters and the base. So let's get that covered and fixed in. This stuff is great for uh, covering metal, especially sharp edges before I cover it with leather. It's just um, three mil thick self-adhesive foam. Uh, really easy to stick on, really easy to cut. And then what I'll do is just roll it over on the edge like this. 
and then as the leather folds over and sticks down it just gives it a nice radius and covers I've just done those pieces as well um, yeah really quick and easy to use just using this off cut leather it's quite thick maybe a couple of mil for the uh, bolsters and the sides just because it's a sort of reasonable size piece I've got laying around. Uh, leather's not actually that much to buy when you consider how durable it is. Um, a lot of plastics, you sort of wrap something in them and then it will come unwrapped. Leather tends to stay put. Um, it's really durable. So let's stick that on. Okay, I think we're all done on this one. Painted the red stripe. Uh, finished trimming the seat. Just put a little headrest at the top. Um, exhaust was missing, so I've put that back on. It's all painted at the back. So I think they're good to load up and take to the show. Thanks for watching. Be another video of the other children's cars at the show tomorrow.